Oh yeah, that's a lot better. Oh yeah, they get him out of that tree. That's a stud right there. Fish scaler. All you do is just start at the back and get those scales off right there. Here it goes. Oh yeah. Right, here we go. Look out right there. See if we can get him on this cricket up there. Not a good cast. All right, little red breast. You want to keep him? It's up to you, Pops. You keep what you want to keep. I'll clean them. I'll eat them. Oh my goodness, what did I just do? You don't need them either. <laughs> you don't need them either, do you? Gum it. Lose all my crickets right there. Cause I can't shut. It's broke it. Broke it, and now they can get out. I just ruined that. There he is. <laughs> that one of us is catching him. Look at that. Boy, that's a bluegill right there. I talked him into biting. He did. Mm -hmm. Good old bluegill. Pops, throw me a, throw me a worm. There we go. Right there, got him. Got him. A uh, bluegill. He's a, he's today a keeper size. I'm gonna get my worm out of him too. Look at that right there. Today and really he's bleeding, so he probably wouldn't make it. But I'm gonna get the worm out of him. We're gonna get back over there. Bumps it. Come on, take it. There he is. Get him. Get him. Uh, this one might be a little throwback size there. Even Let's have some even we have some some standards. There he is. And he ain't bad. No, he's big. He ain't bad at all. Look at that. That's what we come for. You do. You just got to be consistent with it. That's a nice one. And worms. He was. And worms seem to be our uh, ticket. And I've fished that spot several times. So I know there's some, something about it the fish like. But another fish. Not quite. Not quite keeper size. Be done. Yep. Right there, come on, come on, come on. Right there, got him. Got him. Ah, uh, he fought. He was fighting like a big boy. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. He's borderline. He's borderline. <laughs> you already got some in the pot. Ah. Uh, you don't think? Nah. Sometimes I can just visualize that cork about to go under. Right there. <laughs> what? Oh yeah. Look right there. Uh, sometimes I can just, I can just see it. I can just see it. Come on, come on, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. He got it. He just, he might be a keeper. Yeah, he gonna go in the cooler today, or the pot today. Mostly because he has swallowed the hook. You're gonna have to keep him swallow the swallow the hook today. Right there, whenever you see that cork stand up, sometimes you can't even wait till it goes under. Once you see it just bob just a little bit, you gotta go ahead and start setting the hook. Right there, right there. That was a better one there. Better? Oh yeah. Look at that. First decent red breast of the day. Wait, 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 wait. Red breast. Oh, okay. It's a okay. red breast. 
compliment how you are. It's not a competition, but pretty red breast there. And today the secret is worms. It has been the, the worms have been the go-to. Another little guy. Hey y'all, that's a stump knocker there. Is it? it is. And this is how you fish these spots. You just find, you troll along till you find where they're at right there. Look right there, that one feels a little better. A little red breast right there. I'm gonna let dad decide. That was, a little, that was on the small side. We're gonna give him back. We've already caught probably six or seven fish out of this little hole. Not all are big, but it's amazing how they stack up in these little spots. There he is. You're better. Oh yeah, that's a lot better. Oh yeah. They get him out of that tree. That's a stud right there. Oh yeah. Boy, look why a bluegill. Uh-huh. That's why you just that be one hole. That's why you be patient. Look at a bluegill. Boy, that is a stud. I mean, Pops, I'm not saying it's the fish of the day, but I mean. I don't know what you're saying. You got oh, me fishing that. back down there at the bridge. <laughs> Pops, how about a worm? right there and he's good oh yeah he's good that is look at that fat boy that's what you call a fly brim that's what i call a fry brim oh fry brim that's a bass Crappy. Look at the crappy. Woohoo! That's a that baby a fry up, won't it? Boy, look at that. Remember this spot for the crappy now. Yep. See if you can get another one out of there. Right. Catch of the day right here at the end. We made it back to the skinning rack. It is the uh, next day. We're gonna clean these fish up. We've had them in the cooler all night. We're gonna clean them up and we're gonna do a uh, fish fry. Now, typically on this channel, I like fillets. My wife likes fillets, but me and my dad, some of the best eating fish pound for pound are some of these fish right here. You just gotta work for them a little bit. You gotta uh, scale them, you gotta gut them, and you gotta eat the meat around the bones. That's just part of it, but it is some of the best eating fish. So I'm gonna strap the GoPro on. I'm gonna show you a couple of different fish and how we clean them. It's real easy, just a little bit more messy. So you wanna do this outside instead of inside, but here we go, we're gonna clean a few fish. We ended up keeping about 16 fish and we'll start one of these bluegill. Um, we don't really fillet the bluegill, which you probably could one this size, but we like to scale them and the scales are going in that direction. So you've got a couple options. You can take the back of your knife and it takes a minute just to get the first one started. But once you get one started, you can get the scales off that way and just work your way back. But that works. One of these guys work a little bit better. A fish scaler. And what you do is just start at the back and get those scales off right there. They're gonna get everywhere, so you wanna be somewhere that you can wash down with a water hose afterwards. And, and once you feel like you did pretty good on this side, flip her over. When I get them all scaled, I throw them back in the sink and finish scaling all of them. So I do all the scaling, then I do the, the second step. So now we're gonna throw this one back in the sink, rinse it off and start scaling some of the others. All right, now we've already scaled these fish. We're gonna take a good sharp knife and we're gonna cut the head and the uh, the guts out of them, and then they're going to be ready to ready to go. You kind of got to just feel each fish is a little different. Good sharp knife works good. Head. If you're uh, if you like to catfish, that's a good opportunity to get you some bait there. And then we like to cut down there to the vent, the little cloaca, the little opening right there, and then just pull the guts out. Something like that right there. 
really simple to do and you can just take the water and just kind of rinse it in there and if you feel a few more scales now's the chance to get them off and then good to go Hi. <laughs> <laughs> normally we fillet crappy out but i didn't want to get the uh the fillet knife dirty for just one fish so we're just gonna and the electric fillet knife that is just gonna cut right there got a little bit of a thicker backbone break it got right there there we go and just pull the rest of that out just like the other one clean i'll tell you what i like to do on these big fish just to make them fry a little bit easier come across with a couple of gashes and all that's going to do is just make sure they fry good and even in these bigger fish all right, we got all these uh, fish cleaned. There was about 16 total, and and don't be uh, don't be fooled by these little guys. They're small. Dad probably caught them, but they're really good eating fish. And you hear my kids over there. Um, what we're gonna do now is let them dry. I do like to let them dry. Hit them with our favorite seasoning, and then uh, on these guys, cornmeal, cornmeal where it's at, not flour. And then we're gonna get them fried. So we'll pick up at that next step. But man, it's gonna be some good eating in just a little bit. All right, we're on the front porch, and life is good. We got the fryer heating up right now. We're gonna get the oil just right. And uh, my wife and my two girls and my dad are planting the garden. My mom just got home from work and we're about to fry some fish. And it's only a Monday night. I mean, you can't beat that. Uh, I'm gonna show you my two ingredients. Don't, you know, I say it all the time. Don't reinvent the wheel, just roll with it. And uh, we're gonna keep it pretty simple. And uh, we're gonna get this fish in the fryer, but let me show you how we're gonna do that. Our first ingredient is mustard. I prefer French's, but hey, you do you. And the goal is here to keep one clean hand and one dry hand. So the mustard adds a little bit of flavor, but it's more of a binding agent for our batter and seasoning. So here we are going to coat it, go with mustard. And you keep clean hand. I added some fillets in there for my wife and for the girls. Uh, they prefer that over these bone in fish fish fry mix yeah i'm cheating a little bit sure already pre-seasoned already everything that we need in the box don't reinvent the wheel just go with it do a good coating and we're going to go ahead and get that whole box in there we're going to need it now we're going to get the whole box in there now we'll shake it around a little bit can't do this inside trust me my wife and my mother have let me know that there you go, girl. Get some of that. Get some of that batter all over the fish. You like fried fish? You got stuck, didn't you? That fish bit you. No, no, <laughs> it's something that is sharp. It's his fin. Hey, I'll tell you what. We'll make it even. We'll eat it in just a little bit. Okay. Right. I know the audio is pretty bad, but we're gonna get a couple of these in there. We got the last batch of french fries on and the uh, fish have just come off and uh, these little guys do not underestimate them they're small but they are good my favorite bite is the tail my kids have already eaten the tail off almost every fish over there but it's gonna be hard for me to really do this on video because you got to pick it but it's some of the best fish my dad would take this over any fish and we've went to alaska and caught halibut and he says this is the favorite fish here we go look out right there pound for pound some of the best meat this was a phenomenal fishing trip had so much fun me and my dad impromptu last minute and we caught enough for dinner we do some fillets in for the women but i hope you enjoyed this content it is so much fun to make and it's uh it's so rewarding when you get to share it with uh people that like to watch it as well so uh, go out there catch you some dinner and uh, hit that subscribe button until the next one this has been the unofficial no doubt incomplete guide George outdoors